oh my god i'm gonna go to my auntie shop and she'll be like nanji nanji now you dis hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be doing an updated makeup routine i just thought you know it's early in the morning over here in sydney it's quite bright the sun is out it's so beautiful i will just do a updated makeup routine why not you know i got my hair did yesterday um by a barber down the road and he just like lined it up on the sides here and it looks pretty good yeah i'm not i'm not fussed about it i just wanted to do something pretty simple anyways but yeah so today i am doing an updated makeup routine so let's get started oh did you guys see that my button <laughs> my top is trying to expose me <laughs> no not today <laughs> not today or ever okay um <laughs> but it's cute so if it comes off again let's talk about it <laughs> no let's get started i'm gonna pop on some makeup also i've already done um creaming of my face i've prepped it you know done all of that oh if you'd like to see my skin routine my literally everyday skin routine i have a video up and i will link it here so you guys can go check that out but let's get to it um a whole new week a whole new face a whole new energy was good was really good so yeah okay let's get to it first i'm going to pop on um estee lauder's double wear foundation in the shade 7n1 i'm getting a little bit darker mm -hmm, because of the sun finally the sun showed up in sydney so i'm getting a little darker and i love to see it i'm very happy about that i'm just like shaking the bottle it's just this one right here but shaking it up really well and i'm gonna pop this one on my face to start i was actually gonna do something super different also but we'll see how we go um i was i was basically gonna pop on my double wear um estee lauder double wear foundation plus the fenty beauty um powder foundation just had soft matte powder foundation i don't know i just thought why not you know so basically i would pop that one on first and then i will grab a brush and pop on my fenty beauty over just to just to see how that works or how that you know coverage looks i don't like too much foundation and also it is summer around here so i'm not going to put too much on so i'm just going to like dab just the tiniest amount now i'm going to go in with my fenty beauty pro filter foundation in the shade 440 remember this one is um darker for my complexion but it's not darker for my complexion when i gain a little bit of melanin in the summertime so yeah that's why i'm going over just so i can mix the two and create my exact color and shade and also because <laughs> i really 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 love this foundation by Fenty. I just like the way it sits on my skin. It's super light. I think that's also another reason why I love it. If you don't know yet, I don't have an Instagram at the moment. Well, I don't have a personal Instagram because a lot of you are asking me on under the comments. Um, where my instagram is because it is still up there it's just temporarily um offline i'm just trying to really just detox from instagram because it's like i just have to take a moment to talk about it you know like instagram is one of those places you really do get addicted very easily because it's honestly the method of just scrolling up and down that really just pisses me off because for a long time i was like what am i doing why do i consistently just go online i'm not even doing anything and yes there's like you know hilarious memes you have your friends on there but i just hate knowing that i'm actually addicted to some form of technology which um annoys me a lot like seriously it just annoys, throws me off like i don't 
like the thought of um, a technology having a hold of me and that goes for other human beings I don't want people or <laughs> technology thinking they have me in their fingers like and honestly that's what it was becoming via Instagram I was like damn what is this and I, and I know I do a lot of my work on there and stuff because I have my print brand and also I have my um, swim brand <clears throat> I do go on my swim brand um, occasionally on the um, handle just to kind of pop up some updates and stuff on so if you want to check that out please do and please also follow that because I do have um, swimsuits coming out this year in the summertime so this goes for the European and American and Northern America North America summertime so if you love cute swimsuits please go and follow and then you know when it launches you guys can buy from me do you guys see the coverage though right now it's a good coverage I, I like it and it's super matte also Instagram was getting super addictive and I just hated that so freaking much now I'm gonna use my pro filter concealer in the shade 400 this is what I usually use anyways but if you guys honestly feel like Instagram has a hold of you you know so take some time off because I know for me like I just was spending way way too much time on it it's just like dude what the hell and even the moments when I thought that I wasn't spending enough time I felt like I was spending too much time so that should say a lot it's basically my I'm already telling myself that I shouldn't be online and so this little break that I'm having little well um, I wouldn't even call it little because it might take a little bit longer this time around <clears throat> every year I do this anyways I just take a break in January but I feel as though this is gonna be um something that i do for a while we'll see how i feel anyways i shouldn't just say but yeah that's that's what it is about instagram instagram just has this thing that you, your brain is just wired to also i hated the fact that every morning the first thing that i did was to go online like i just didn't like that i felt so gross i'm like why am i on this thing it's just so ugly <laughs> Yeah, and that's how I really felt like it's obviously like there are a lot of people on there that use it for work and stuff but I just think if you need to like please take that moment and you know take a time off and also Instagram is like you know high keep toxic and I'm so sensitive it's ridiculous like I'm super sensitive so I see things and I'm already like sad and it's like oh sorry you know I'm already sad and because I've seen something online that's triggering and so it's like what it's nine o'clock in the morning and I've been up from like six I'm an early riser because um, my partner goes to work super early so he gives me a kiss and then he leaves and then I go into like an, a one hour deep sleep and then I wake up so usually I'm up by seven or six o'clock one of the two so yeah so I, I'll be online and then I'll just be like seeing stuff that doesn't really you know kind of mesh with my moral and ethic code and I'm just like oh this is a bit traumatizing I'm just gonna like continue I'm just gonna continue scrolling the fuck down like <laughs> bitch what it made no sense honey what the fuck you know when you just want to scream at yourself that's how i felt and yeah it's fucking addictive you lot need to just you know realize i'm using what it do huh what it do that's how instagram be coming at me when i when i had it it was literally like what a do bitch yeah you're on me again that's what i fucking thought I'm not a slave to technology. I'm not a fucking slave to technology, bitch. I don't want to be that. Oh my god. 
take the shackles away no but seriously guys i fucking hated that you know instagram had that kind of a hold on me oh there she goes it's just the top of this i'll pick it up later so if you feel like it's too much get the fuck out you gotta go so i have a potty mouth hmm. Okay, so now that I have this ghostly vibe, you know, this going on here, I'm going to add um, Fenty Beauty's chocolate bronzer in the shade. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So it's, <clears throat> oh, okay. Freestyle Cream Bond Bronzer in the shade 6 and chocolate. Usually I would use espresso, but because your girl got some more melanin over like what? It was like three days, guys. And then boom. Over three days, I'm going to add our trusty friend over here. Yeah, just uh, basically, you know fit my complexion at the moment so i'm also going to use um espresso on my nose i think i was talking about instagram yeah no for real guys if you feel like it's just too much for your mental health and you're sensitive as fuck like me leave you gotta go you really just gotta do you outside of instagram i know i just feel like just take a breather just you know just stem ones just take a breather and then you know in a couple of months show up be like hey guys i know y'all didn't miss me because i'm like one in seven million <laughs> but i'm back <laughs> You know, just be like that. Just show up. Honestly, those ladies online who are obviously like doing their work, like they're working with all these beautiful brands and everything through Instagram. I mean, I did that, but like, I think it's cool that you guys have no day off. Like, literally, you guys have to give kudos to those women online you probably see 24-7. Who are modeling and making sure their timeline looks cute and everything and like for you guys to be like oh that's pretty double tap you know you have to give like they're doing their fucking thing man like they're so um amazing they just keep at it even on their bad days because i'm sure a lot of them at the moment are in lockdown whether it be north america or europe you know and they're still just trying to maintain this um structure and the hold that obviously instagram has on them and they're just you know trying to get their moolah obviously they probably know that instagram is a fleeting ship you know it doesn't wait on anyone but you know on that ship you can make changes and i think that's what they're doing they're just doing amazing stuff on there they're just being like you know what I know today is a total off day for me because I've had a fucking insane week. But I need to get my shmoney. And so I'm going to post this bitch and y'all going to be entertained. Like literally, that's, that's low-key their mindset. Like, y'all going to be entertained because give me my money. Give me my money. Facts. Okay, guys, I'm trying to, like, really blend this in right now. So, I'll be back. Did everything in. I am going to line my lips because I always do it really early. Also, it's quite... It's currently 11.52. I'm actually going to uh, go out today because I need to go shopping. I am cooking for some friends tomorrow out in bondi and i'm gonna be the chef so i need to go to my auntie shop to grab 
plantain because you know it's not a dinner without plantain <laughs> says who Mimo? says who uh says me but you know we love plantain i love plantain i'm gonna fix up this because it's kind of hmm. i mean might as well just add a little bit more it won't hurt nobody just a little bit more I'm actually going to use um, soft matte powder foundation in the shade 470 and I'm just going to like grab just the tiniest bit and I'm just going to go over it because I like the color. It's like really lovely. Let me show you guys. Do you see that? So I'm going to put it behind my eyes. I like the brown. It's really pretty. While I do that, my eyes, I'm gonna uh, use my nutmeg powder to set for the moment. I like to drag it. Oh my gosh, guys, one of my pet peeves about Instagram. Okay, well, I'll just give you an example because it's happened to me. Um, it happens to me quite a lot and when I did have it and just recently and the person like lied to me Because she thought I didn't have an Instagram, but I was just using like my brown page um, But I just happened to go on it, you know on the I Happened to see it. What do you call it thing again? Be yeah, a discovery page I happened to see it on the discovery page and I was like, oh That's my body. That's me you know, and I was like, oh my gosh, who did that? But, yeah. So basically, this young woman, she's an artist. And a while ago, like, I think it was May or June, I don't know, last year, I, I came across her page via another person's page. And basically... I was like, oh, that's that's my body because obviously I took the picture and everything. And under her caption, I had thought she had tagged me because obviously um, you tag the owner or the pic where you got the picture from. But she's an artist, right? But yeah, I think it's funny with, with social media, people can literally take your stuff and claim it to be theirs. And, um, and they call themselves artists and not actually tag the muse or where it's coming from. So yeah, at, at first the initial thought was like, wow, like this is such a great work. Cause usually I get a lot of people asking me in my DMs like, hey, can I put your picture on my um, thing or can I draw you? Like when they wanna draw me and they ask for permission, I'm like, oh my God, hell yeah, girl, like do you. Or hey, hell yeah, boy, like do you. Um, but this person was, um, I, I didn't notice at the time though, so I actually posted it on my stories and I was like, oh my god, she drew me, how cool is that? And then I realized she was basically trying to pretend as if she imagined this drawing of me, which if you were to see my picture that I took and hers, you will know she blatantly like, you know, like took it. So then I was like, oh, like surely that's not, you know, what she's trying to do. I was like, whatever. And then recently I saw another version of it, which was plastered on a print and it looked lovely. And I thought now she would like tag me. Obviously I don't have Instagram anymore. But then I realized, oh my God, she's pretending as if um, this is hers. Like she, she came, like it came from her brain. This is her idea. You know what I mean? Because you can read through the caption and everything and obviously people's comments. And I was like, damn, sis is really trying to pretend like she imagined a whole human being. So I was like, I DM'd I'm like, hey, like, dude, what's going on? Like, why are you pretending like you're, this was something you imagined from your brain when it's me? And then um, I was like confused because I was like, damn, that's a cute pic, but why are you trying to pretend like it's yours, baby girl? And she was all like, oh, I'm so sorry, like, you know, let me tag you. And I'm like, you can't tag me now because I don't have an Instagram page. Um, but 
I noticed this picture a while ago, but I didn't think anything of it. But now I'm seeing that you're using other things for it. And yeah, you're kind of like pushing it. Yeah, and I thought it was, it's not cool. Like when people do that, like when you, when you, the artist, know that this is coming from a certain person, whether they be big or small. And I just know, like, because I don't think I have a crazy following on Instagram, but I just know if it was like, say, a Beyonce, she'd be tagging that shit. Like, yeah, I did that. And this is who it is. But obviously because I'm just like, you know, one in seven million or something, I don't know. She's not going to like, um, you know, she's going to obviously pretend. But I don't think it's cool. I think if you're an artist, that's the whole point. You're meant to imagine something new and beautiful and you're meant to put this out into the world. And you're just being an artist, you know. That's what creative people do. They, they imagine things or they sometimes reimagine things and they all always take you know um, into consideration the, the muse or where it's coming from and i think it's different from like people copying like say um somebody invented something and then other people taking it on and like you know twisting it and like doing their own thing about it but when it's like um you've used somebody in particular and then claimed it to be yours it's kind of really weird because i think online people don't understand that People might always randomly come across your page and then ask questions like, dude, why are you like using my picture and pretending it like pretending as if it's yours? I don't know. Like why people do <laughs> I don't know why people do that. I think it's crazy. And that's also one of the reasons um, through like my writing because I'm gonna start a series on Insta on um you sorry, YouTube anyways where I like um, you know talk about my poetry and stuff but that was one of the reasons why I basically deleted all my poetry on my personal account on Instagram because I literally had all these random people kind of being dodgy and like trying to steal my work and I was like oh my god I need to take this off because y'all ain't nice like that's not cool like how are you going to steal other people's work you know, you need to really have some conscience, and I'm pretty sure you guys do have conscience. But let me continue doing my makeup because I'm talking way too much. Um, but yeah, I just think, please, if you have a conscience in your mind, if it's somebody's work and you know it's somebody's work and they know it's their work, please, um, you know, tag them. It's the simplest thing you can do. And don't just pretend like you randomly thought about this. You know and I'm saying this because obviously you have a lot of really big celebrities online and I'm sure people um, you won't do that to say a celebrity you know so just bear in mind everyone is just trying to get by to make sure their work is also noticed and you need to share the space because first of all that space that person created was not for you to steal and um you know like it's super cute and everything but when when you when the person realizes oh this person's actually just trying to take my work and um claim it to be theirs um it's just not a good feeling because it's like damn then where where can i go that like, where can i go to express myself if y'all gonna take it <laughs> where can i motherfucking go like seriously but yeah I had to just be like, hey sis, uh, I don't think it's cute what you're doing, please stop. Oh my god, the funniest thing though, when she said sorry and she thought I didn't um, go online because I was using my brand page, I went back again because she deleted all the all my my stuff, as in like things that she, she used from, from my stuff. Um, she said sorry and everything, she put it down and then a couple of days later, I went back and I saw her Instagram and then she had popped it back up and deleted um my comments and stuff so yeah and you know that's not cool if you're not going to be sincere about your apologies and that's just any th everything in, in life like do not apologize to someone when you are not sincere it's just not a vibe it's not a vibe it's not a vibe and most of the times people will only forgive but at the same time in the back of their minds like me if i don't trust somebody in the back of my mind i'm gonna take a note and then when they do it again 
I'm like, they were not sincere in the first place, just like how I thought they were not in the first place. <laughs> and they were just trying to um, say sorry to cover their back. Yeah. But that's it. Instagram has a hold on people and people claiming that shit is theirs when it ain't. I'm going to use unbutton. I literally have no strength ever. Anemia. <laughs> Yep, no, kidding, I'm actually pretty alright right now, I'm eating really well these days, but yeah, so I'm gonna pop on um, Unbutton, oh. like that, cookie jar, and fruit snacks on top together, okay, so I'm gonna go in with cookie jar first. I just want to see what like what it comes up with I just wanted to see like what color it will make if I do that and I'm just gonna put like one layer of fruit snacks okay I like it. So I don't put any highlighters ever on my face, but I don't know, should I today? Like, let's just try something different. So I'm gonna use a Ginger Binge as a highlighter. Like, I'm not crazy about highlighters, but let's just try. Also, this is Fenty Beauty's Ginger Binge. That's what I'm using. Can you guys see a difference? What do you guys think? How are you feeling about this? Cause I'm a bit, a bit iffy about highlighters. I really wish I wasn't. Cause I do love seeing it on other people. I think other people in their highlighters just looked fabulous. I don't know, but I'm a little like, is this something that I want to do with myself and for my life? I'm going to put some mascara on. Now I'm going to use the MAC powder, found, wait, MAC powder Blush in Film Noir. I'm just going to go like this. Oh, hey baby. What's your thing? I look so cute right now and I just can't take it. Like, beach. <laughs> no, okay. I'm not kidding. Okay, now I'm gonna use Mocha Mummy because Mocha Mummy is just the best. Just the best. Mocha Mummy by Fenty Beauty. Y'all already know about it, so don't start. Don't ask questions because y'all know it's Mocha Mummy. Like, Mocha Mummy just be doing her for no reason. And we love to see it. Okay, on my cheeks it goes. She just brightened my day up, okay? Oh my god, I'm gonna go to my auntie's shop and she's gonna be like, Nanje! Nanje! Now you dis. Also, Nanje is my tribal name. It means mother. <laughs> she's like, Nanje, it's been so long. How are you? And I'll be like, I'll do fine. Guys, look at this pretty beach. Okay, so. I think I'm done. I think it's it's time to clock the fuck out. You didn't ask, but I delivered. So, what do y'all think? So this is what the look looks like in another light. Glow, princess vibe. <laughs> Kidding. Queen vibe, I lie. Yeah. So this is it, guys. Uh, thanks for coming. I would love to stay a little longer, but I got things to do and I gotta go. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Seriously though, I love you guys. And the people that keep commenting and messaging on my YouTube videos, I literally get so excited. I'm like, they know about me, bitch. Oh my God. <laughs> I really out here telling Martin like, vibe, vibe, come check this out. Like, I got a new comment and I get so excited. So, 
seriously don't stop i really i really appreciate it because you know why not it's fun i really do love this makeup look super natural glowy you know also i think it's super matte as well and i actually do like the highlighter on the tip of my nose that i did here and the subtle um highlight thing going on here but guys this is your girl right now shaping it up out here in the sydney australia so get into it once again <clears throat> okay guys i'm gonna go i will catch you guys later i love you okay okay <laughs>